Hello, everyone. We, that is TFS, Together for Sustainability, are excited to introduce you to the solution we are providing for the chemical industry to counteract the current situation of climate change. We will start by outlining the impacts of climate change and the urgency to act. For those who do not know who or what TFS is, we will introduce the organization and its mission. In order to understand current challenges in the chemical industry to actively improve their impact on climate change, the terms and meanings of GHG, GHG protocol, and PCF will be explained. We then present what our solution looks like and how it meets our we needs. The effects on the environmental situation are already visible as elevated temperatures, rising sea levels, and increased frequency of storms and floods. That is why the political situation has changed and politicians have reacted and set climate targets at the UN Climate Change Conference in Paris 2015. The agreed goal is to limit climate change and global warming to well below 2 Celsius, preferably 1, 5 Celsius, compared to pre-industrial levels. To achieve this goal, the world must reduce man-made greenhouse gas emissions to zero between 2045 and 2060 and thus pursue very ambitious climate protection. This is a global challenge and an urgent call to action for all governments societies, and industries. Within the chemical industry, more than 33 companies have joined forces and created the initiative Together for Sustainability. TFS comprises a global network of chemical companies and therefore delivers the de facto global standard for environmental, social, and governance performance of chemical supply chains. Being a procurement-driven initiative, TFS delivers a groundbreaking framework with robust tools to continuously improve the sustainability performance of our chemical companies and our suppliers. At TFS, we are committed to contributing our part to the achievement of the Paris Climate Agreement by providing solutions for the chemical industry. We want to be part of the solution. Our mission is to make a concrete and measurable contribution to climate protection together with our members and suppliers. Transparency is the most important prerequisite for this. We invite you to be part of the solution. As TFS members and multinational companies, we strive for sustainable development. We take responsibility for our own operations and in our supply chain sphere of influence to support adherence to existing regulations and to respond to the needs and expectations of consumers and society. Through TFS, we join forces to harmonize requirements and manage complexity and risk in our global value chains. We engage in open and constructive dialogues with our suppliers and relevant stakeholders to improve the working and environmental conditions in our supply chains and so to shape sustainable business. We want to make a positive contribution to climate change we want to achieve the goal of the Paris Agreement. We want to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And to do so, we are developing a harmonized approach to calculating greenhouse gas emissions for chemical materials. So we can then base emission reduction decisions and measures on reliable data. If we're only able to achieve the goal of the Paris Agreement through cooperation and collaboration. So, Let's decarbonize together. As we said before, to be able to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, in short, GHG, and to decarbonize, we must first be able to account for GHG emissions. The most common standard companies used to do this is the Greenhouse Gas Protocol. The GHG Protocol is a set of standards for accounting of greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gases are gases that contribute to the greenhouse effect. The best known is by far CO2. However, there are also five other GHGs and each gas has a different impact on climate change. If you refer to the entire and combined impact of all GHGs, 
we can call them CO2 equivalents. The GHG protocol standard distinguishes between three scopes to which emissions can be assigned, scope 1, 2, and 3. Scope 1 includes all direct emissions of the company, such as company facilities, company vehicles, and fugitive emissions. Scope 1 emissions are referred to as direct emissions, as these are generated directly by companies, as Scope 2 and 3 emissions are not generated within the company itself. These are referred to as indirect emissions. Scope 2 defines the energy purchased by the company from outside. This can include purchased electricity, steam, heating, and cooling. Many companies now extend their commitment to the entire value chain, and these are grouped under Scope 3. Scope 3 emissions can be subdivided into downstream activities, for example, activities of the clients, and upstream activities, for example, activities of the suppliers. The focus of the Scope 3 upstream calculation is usually on the purchased goods and services. In other words, on the products that we as TF members are buying from you. If we look at the emissions in the chemical industry, three quarters of these consist of the GHG emissions arising from purchased goods and services. So emissions is the responsibility of suppliers, and again, their suppliers. This is why Scope 3 is often the focal point in the company's internal GHG balance. If you look closer, it is apparent that Scope 3.1 emissions account for the largest share of Scope 3 emissions. Scope 3.1 refers to the emissions caused by the purchased goods and services of a company, which means your product is our purchase and a big share of our emissions are associated with it. The emission value which we propose to provide to us for the purchased chemical product is called the cradle-to-gate product carbon footprint. The short form for this is PCF-CTG. What exactly is PCF-CTG? PCF, as we call in this video, is balancing all the greenhouse gases of a product during its upstream life cycle. Cradle-to-gate is a partial life cycle inventory including all emissions from material source through to when the immediate product leaves the reporting company's gate, typically immediately following its production, and excluding final product use and end of life. Emission factors are needed to calculate the PCF. The calculation method includes the data from the scopes 1, 2, and 3 upstream emissions. Emission factors are representative values that attempt to relate to the quantity of a GHG released to the atmosphere with an activity associated with the release of these emissions. It considers the tons of CO2 per product or per defined functional unit. By calculating the PCF, it is possible to improve the complex value chain in terms of its greenhouse gas emissions. One benefit is the increased transparency for customers and consumers due to the PCF's high accuracy of the exchange data. Further, it is possible not only to calculate the PCF, but it also allows to track emissions and to create and initiate projects with the goal of decarbonization. Another important value add is that the PCF is a reproducible approach for other products and clients. In other words, it allows to compare and evaluate emission values in a simple way. Your PCF is part of our Scope 3, and we need your PCF to calculate our Scope 3 emissions accurately. Most companies are not yet able to calculate and provide PCFs according to the methodology we just described. This poses several challenges for the chemical industry as a whole. Currently, different kinds of calculation methods are available. They are all based on the ISO 14067 standard. The current challenge is that harmonized allocation rules for the calculation methods are missing. Consequently, the results of the different calculation approaches cannot be compared with each other. This in turn means that it is not yet possible to include PCF as a decision factor. During the supplier selection process, Alongside availability, quality and cost are being. We are, however, sure 
This will be required in the future. And we would like to consider and award your efforts and special decarbonization projects based on PCF data. As mentioned before, emission factors are needed for some calculation approaches. However, the availability of emission factors is limited and selection of appropriate emission factors require experience to ensure consistency and compatibility of results. Another critical issue as of today is the limited available options to actually share data between companies in a secured manner. Last but not least, it requires high effort if different customers request different calculation methods. Therefore, for us as members of TFS and companies in the chemical industry, we want to overcome this calculation challenge of upstream emissions. We want to create deep understanding amongst companies for the importance of the topic to pave the way for data transparency and for the provision of valid, robust, and consistent PCF data. This is only possible through cooperation and joint efforts so we can decarbonize the whole value chain and reduce GHG because your PCF is part of our scope three. To solve this challenge, we as TFS member companies, we have decided to provide a solution to the current situation, leveraging the expertise, know-how, and experiences of all of us TFS member companies combined. We have developed a calculation approach for PCFs, and we have partnered with all relevant stakeholder groups and organizations, working on guidelines and frameworks to ensure the guideline to become the de facto industry standard and the only one of its kind for the chemical industry. This means that our PCF calculation guideline will be applicable and specific to chemical materials across the board and find common acceptance also in frameworks beyond the chemical industry. The goal of the guideline is to harmonize and specify the approach to calculate product carbon footprints. The guideline will enable you to calculate PCFs and provide your customers with comparable PCF data. The guideline will help provide necessary transparency for decarbonization. The selection of relevant emission factors will be guided and the sharing potential of available data will be increased. Moreover, the guideline does not only help the chemical industry, it offers a cross-industry solution in combination with our industry standards. The aim of TFS is to create more clarity by creating a precise and consistent guideline. What are the most important issues? Calculation criteria are explained in detail, as well as the evaluation of the PCF results and the system boundaries that must be uniformly defined for the calculation. In addition, we will be detailing our currently missing specifics about allocation approaches, cutoff criteria, data collection, energy use, bio-based materials, etc. Let's look more closely at the organizations that TFS partners with to ensure our solution is in line with existing standards and offers indeed a cross-industry solution. The guideline aims to provide a drop-in solution that allows industries to use the calculation results for their industry. The developed drop-in solution is based on the existing standards and guidelines, such as ISO 14067, Pathfinder Framework by the World Business Council for Sustainable Development and others. The guideline is being developed in collaboration with the GHG protocol. Moreover, it provides an auditable basis as it is accredited by an external auditor. To extend the outreach of the guideline as much as possible, TFS is also highly engaged within a network of associations, such as the World Business Council for Sustainable Development and the Science-Based Targets Initiative. The unique value add of the guideline is its specific focus on the chemical industry. The TFS members have jointly detailed out aspects in the mentioned existing guidelines or elaborated on them where specificity for chemical materials was lacking. On the one hand side, there are advantages for the industry as a whole to use the guideline and on the other hand side, there are benefits for your company. 
The introduction of the guideline has the unique advantage of enabling uniform coordination within the industry and between all chemical companies. The comparability of the data is facilitated. And this doesn't apply only to the chemical industry, but also to other key industries, as it can serve as a drop-in solution. It creates a necessary transparency and promotes dialogue along the value chain. By applying the guideline, your company has the advantage of having access to a precise and consistent calculation methodology. Transparency is highly improved, not only for your customers, but also for your company, if you ask your suppliers to follow the guideline as well. Therefore, you will be able to better meet the requirements of your stakeholders. Furthermore, you can make your carbon dioxide emission calculation process more efficient with this clearly defined standard for the calculation within the industry. You can benefit from a strong competitive advantage as you will be able to calculate your own PCF data and improve your negotiation power towards your customer requirements. To increase credibility, this method will be verified by external experts. The guideline will be launched in the summer 2022. We are delighted that the TFS member companies have joined forces to produce the guideline to help us all decarbonize. It is available to all free of charge and will be developed further. Please use it and help us to create comparability together.